Welcome guys to another episode of Downright Gaming. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Downright Gaming. We're playing Kenshi today, and it looks like my mouse is having a little spaz attack. Two mice. Yes, excellent. So, Kenshi is an open-world sandbox game. It's, it's a very good game. I, uh, it's still in beta. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you don't know much about it, this is a perfect, perfect uh, video for it. I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, I'm just going to explain a little bit about it, um, give you a bit of a go at it, like, myself. <laughs> I'll show you where you can buy it. I might even go to the website at the end and show you kind of what his visage visageness is on. Um, and yeah, so I'll start the game um, and what you can do is you can choose from um, different beginnings. So um, you can start from easier, harder ones um, and I'd suggest that probably the best is a wanderer but uh, probably the best is the freedom seeker. You essentially start off with more money and you start off with some friends and having a little squad at the start is always important. Always. This is the customization of him. It's fairly in depth. You can basically create someone however, however you want him to. Um, he's got a name um, and he's going to be a samurai. What's it called samurai? Oh, Yoshi. Yoshi Mitsu. Spell it like that. Um, you can change it from a male to a female. Oh, boob it. <laughs> Um, human, he's gonna add, I think he was gonna add cannibals, uh, there may be some other things to that, so that's what I think the difference is. Um, his face, you can just change that how you want it, but I actually like the f that face, actually. Kind of looks like Taylor Lautner, what the heck? So I like it, I love it. Hairstyle, oh, he's a spunk, that's Taylor Lautner, fuck it out. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go, samurai to the max. Let's put him a beard. Uh, the designer of this is... Is is a big bearded he just a, a big bearded guy. I'm sure he wouldn't like me describing him like that, but he has a beard, and that's what everyone loves about him. So, uh, it's a massive game. There's lots to do in it already, and he's going to add so much into it. I think this is a, a game that everyone should be trying to have a go at. Um, let's have a look here. So we'll get him a bit higher, bit of a frame. Come on, he's got to be able to fight people. He's a samurai. His posture is perfect. His shoulder set. He's a little bit crazy. Let's make him. Oh yeah, it's a big buff guy. Nah, shut up. Um, all right. So he's also got his length of his legs. Let's make him bulky. Yeah. I don't like his shoulder set. What is with that? Um, so obviously this has still got tweaking to do, being in the beta. Um, let's get chest. Got some big breasts. No, we'll okay, we'll skip that one. Uh, whatever. Alright, so you can randomize it obviously and that would be cool. You can swap to the face, but there's lots in that as you can see. I'm not too particular. He has a long neck now. It looks like a turkey. I might fix his neck up. <coughs> cool. Do and that's... Alright, I'll take that. Save my character. And I'm going to just... Uh, there's lots to... Hopefully it doesn't freak out, but I'm going to stop. I'm just going to maybe cut it here, see what happens. Oh, oh cool. This is excellent. So, um, obviously I'm not playing on the greatest, oh boy, I'm not playing on the greatest of, uh, oh man, of, uh, what, what's this change? I haven't played this for a while. Um, it looks like you got all this cool stuff. This, it's, as you can see, it's a little bit, there's a few like this thing here, it's all stuffed, looks like it here, and he fixes it up. Um, regularly, like it, as I said, it gets fixed quite regularly. So I'm, I've chosen the party of five others, six others. What? It said five. Um, it said five of us all together. Um, you've got here your health. Um, how it works? It's a very cool combat system. So if you get hit in the hand or the arm, if you get hit in the arm, let's say, it goes down and you eventually start bleeding. Once you start bleeding, if you can bleed to death, and uh, that's always a whole lot of fun, bleeding to death. No, it never is. Why is she walking so slow? That's weird. I guess uh, they've only just got the NPCs looking like that. That's new. Uh, and it's a very big world. If we look at the map here, we can see there's a whole lot of things. As I, um, he was going to expand the map a thick map. The map four times as big. Um, you got factions, which uh, are all different. I can name my faction. We'll call it. We'll call it something crazy like the clan. 
Oh, we'll call it the chaos. See what happens there. Ho, ho, ho. Because we're going to start some chaos, hopefully. Uh, so, I'll probably bring this to you as a let's play later on. But at the moment, I'm just going to explain what I know about the game and what there is to do in the game. So, this is one city. Oh, hang on a second, I've got to probably turn down that audio. Why is that up so high? Excellent. So, there's what there is in the towns is there's shops, there's uh, inns, and at inns, you, so I'll explain everything. Shops, obviously, there's about five different types of shops. You can get medic packs, which medic packs are very important. I think you start off with them. Ooh. Uh, there's now blueprints, which has changed since I have started playing. Uh, what I'll probably go end up doing is making a base uh, somewhere nearby a town in a nice location. They don't have the one guy has medics. So, you know, or two guys? Two guys have medics, okay. What's this? How to do farming. Oh, cool. Um, so, essentially, uh, the best thing to do if you want to make your own is there's different things. You can either roam the world and blow things up and kill things, whatever. I'm here, so I might just make my base just down here somewhere. Let's get started. Let's go for a run. Don't freak out on me, mate. Okay, cool. So, you've got your squad, m and people can put, there is permadeath, and that's just how he's wanted to make it. And I say, go for it. There's pause, we've got speed up, which is cool. So, we have this town here. There's another town. I like to situate myself in a bit of a town square thing. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, boy, this is crazy. Come on, guys, keep up. Uh, they've also encumbersome, encumberment, um... You've got your sprints, you've got your, we can make them walk. Uh, they eventually hobble if their legs are being s taken out. Where's the rest of you guys? Uh, it looks like they're holding all my stuff, so they're taking their time. So if we go here, how close are we to everything? Let's go pull the map up. Oh, I'm actually the wrong way. I don't think that'll be a problem. I think here's probably a good place to be. Eventually you kind of will want to make, like I might make two cities, but for now I've got a city, I think it's... Where is it? There's one city just up on the top of that hill, and I've got my main city which I can go to and sell, and that should be cool. Um, so I've kind of, you don't have to build by all means. I think at the start there wasn't any building, so I just ran around and killed things. There was heaps of fun, um, but I want to, I like the building part of it, that's why I got the game. Um, and so I'll get started on the building. Let's see what happens. Small shack. Small shack. Oh, too close. Oh, so I can't do that. Okay, let's see how we go out here. I don't know, well, before you could kind of build wherever, but I'm guessing, that's fair enough, I don't want to build too close to a town. But I'll get more traders, I hope, too, because they'll be coming to those towns by default. And you can, o I don't know how he's gone with the trading. Let's see what happens now. Ah, cool. Now let's just, so we have some rocks which I can use uh, probably for nothing but I don't know what, to, uh, private, headquarters, okay so I'm, this is very, haven't explained too much yet, so there's obviously building, so I can build, uh, I want to get into the uh, fighting system, come on guys, oh you guys don't even have any of the stuff. So these guys here will have all the stuff. So let's build this. Alright. Uh, so essentially, they're all called different things, which is kind of cool. Um, this is my main base, which I'm going to then research and be able to kind of make a trading post, possibly put a wall around it, get myself a bit of protection, make a farm, uh, probably get self supported, self sufficient. Um, that's the main aim of what I perceive of this game and it's it's an open world sandbox crazy games cool got some awesome things to it um, the training works in so f the more you get hit the more strength you work up uh, with your stats you got a different stats the running speeds all this stuff oh what else are we, we going to do here so see what else there is so uh, tech so we want a research bench um, and we can have scientists and all that that's cool this is cool this is heaps different to our been playing and I've upgraded it heaps. Come on guys. Come on you slackers. Yeah, we're probably trying to build the other thing. <whistles> okay. Work that bench. Work that bench. Work bench. 
So, because I want to get some farms going so I can get a bit of food. I assume I'm going to need food. It's getting dark. I wonder. So, what will happen is NPCs will start coming through. Um, and I'll have to either fight them. And I'm not very strong. Oh, there's some attack. Something's happening over there. That might be behind the mountain. That's the other thing. It's heats far away, everything. So, I've got to just watch out. Because when I was playing before, you'd get attacked randomly. And it's a whole lot of fun. Let's see if these guys will help build now. Yes, cool. How much we got? Ah, oh, it's the heaps. <laughs> Let's see if you can. Let's go over the top of this and see if you can. No, can't build that one yet. He was building it. I should have let him build it. But uh, yeah, so they'll just slowly build this. Excellent. Uh, I just got to watch out and make sure I don't get attacked. Uh, oh, what's over here? Something sparkly. So the game has slowly gotten better and better over time, and it is fairly good. Um, I I love it. This is just a whole lot of fun. It's it's a very slow game at the start, and then once you get a bit of a, a, a an awesome following of guys and everything, you start um, you can get a bigger group of guys. And normally I would actually have a bigger group of guys, and I might go to the market and or well not the market, the inn, and get some more in, in a minute. But you can go up. Oh no, that's cool. So I don't actually have a, there's not a big traffic of NPCs for some reason. There usually is a whole lot of NPCs everywhere and you can just find them so easy. It's probably the area I'm in, which um, may mean that I have to go out and train. Um, but at the moment I want to build a dummy and just get them to do that that way. It takes a while to build, doesn't it? That's so changed. Oh, there we go. They're building that now, this research bench, because I'll get one guy researching, um, and I can research heaps of cool stuff. Alright, what have we got here? So, you can see there's the night and day, so I assume there'll be different, you know, obviously there's a time, um, there's power, you've got your battery usage. The other things you can build, and I will show you later on after the power, there's like, um, you can do your mining, um, so you can get some resources that way, and that can craft things. Kind of a cool little... Uh, look into that. Oh. So cool. Love it. Love this game. Processing. So I want a stone mine. And at the moment you just build it anywhere. So let's just build it there and get this guy to build it. Let's get you to build this one. Why are you going that way? Uh, and the... Oh, there you go. Cool stone processor. How do we rotate this? Okay, rotates that one. So, uh, yes. Yeah! Alright, love it. Here we go. So we'll put you down there. We'll confirm that one. Why did that? That's weird. Did that? Oh, cool. There we go. Just took a second. So I got my stone mine. I got my little base with a research thing. And. Come on, buddy. Come on. it. Uh, as you can see their stats will start going up for building so you'll eventually get guys that build and then guys that and that's somewhere here. Got my diplomacy so everyone hate oh well the sand bandits hate me all that. Got stats here we go so I've got my toughness, my strength, my endurance. So strength is you get that while attacking. Toughness you get when being hit. Uh, dexterity I think is just as you run you get a little better. You got your attack up in different things. You got your athletics that's for running. Uh, it's kind of like Morrowind, where you just do it and you get it. <laughs> kind of sounds funny, but that's just what that's what was happening in Morrowind. So, just as you do it, it just goes better. So all you do is you just jump for an hour and you're done. Like you. So um, oh, and um, what do we got here? So we got our tech, which will come along. Um, we got beds. You can get um, storage, obviously, public sales, um, generators, houses. A generator is a pretty thief training. Cool. I didn't. That's just new. Um, fabric. So you can make yourself clothes, and you can make yourself swords, and you can make yourself uh, farms and rum, and or, and put all this to bed. I was at one point just making a whole bunch of rum and just selling that off. You can make your weapon smithing defenses. So at the moment, there's just walls. I think he had turrets, which he's going to add in in like a couple weeks. Apparently, it was last month he did an update, and I think um, Yoshimitsu, come on, mate, get to do something, mate. Um, there. Pathways aren't very good at the moment, I think. 
they get it they they go in and out he see he fixes one thing then something else happens like <laughs> like he it's just the way of make a generator so this is my generator this will help power a lot of things so like um, I think in future you'll be able to barricade yourself indoors and ha live in there like in walls and all that forever um, and yeah so is that desk done let's put this on fast speed we'll get this going get this moving get alrighty so I just thought you guys might it's now been updated it's sick so I just thought you guys might want to see what my base looks like uh, on my other playthrough um, if it can work um, so we have here a few different things There's, uh, I've got a whole bunch of guys a full uh, level of guys so that's pretty cool Full everyone's done I've got my stone mine which is pretty much automatic I have my processor which is automatic which just starts off you just need guys to do it but then they get automatic I have heaps of research benches um, a small farm so I can make it um, my hemp farm I've got my grain and my wheat solo grain solos water wells to water it um, there's heaps of stuff literally it's like I played f this game for probably for 30 hours and still hadn't done it I put my walls up because here I've actually made my base over here, we're over here in the next one, which is probably a smart area to do it here. I get attacked a lot and there's lots of researching. I'll see if I can show you some researching. Uh, so yeah, mountain cro mounted crossbows um, you can get once you defend your walls are done, um, which the walls were having problems when I last played and I'm sure they're not anymore. Prisoner cage, cool, that's new. Um, uh, refined stone so this literally I had all of my um, research done and now look at it it's like it's all back look how much he's added to it so uh, there's lots to do and there's lots of things that are enjoyable in this game um, and as you can see if we go to old soldier I think he is his stats let's go to his actual stats he's a beast look at him he's gonna oh he goes on turrets because you oh, I don't have automatic I see that's excellent uh, and so I'll probably leave this one alone and I'll probably do some let's plays with the other one. Let me know what you think guys. Um, and if you want to do some let's plays with this one, I'm going to probably do a couple, see how you like them. And they're, um, see they've all got the same kind of names, Leko, Big Fella, <laughs> I think I named him. Um, and let me know what you think. Uh, there's a help bar here. Um, and um, I'll explain more as I go through it. If you want to see any more uh, tutorials of this game, let me know. I do have done a little bit about this game. Let's see, I've got my power here and my battery usage is when my all it charges up batteries. Um, and it's fairly badly set out. I think it, I was just throwing stuff down because I had all the resources to do it and I was making um, my building materials with this one here so I kept making unlimited amounts of building materials which that is great. That's probably the first thing you should do when you start off is make building materials. Um, and But get making sure your guys get a training dummy um, because they do start off really weak. The training dummies start off, I think, getting you to 5, and then once they're upgraded, they get you to level 15, finally, I think, is the final one. But I think, um, I think, yeah, and so, yeah. That's this game. That's Kenshi. It's great. Um, it's a cool game. Uh, if you enjoy it, let me know. If you want more, and that's the... <laughs> Up here is the ramps up the wall that have been broken. So I'm um, still building this one, looks like I'm up to. Um, and I was going to make a shop and then split the wall down here. But when I did that, they all kept trying to open this door and run through that door. So I don't know if that's going to be changed. I was going to leave it until then. Um, and I was going to get a good market going because I had some hemp to sell. And So it's a really cool game. And the just the AI. He, um, I think the guy is a specialist AI in AI. Um, and so this is kind of his forte. So... Um, if that's what you like, if you like a functioning city where you just be a part of it um, and you can do what you like with it um, and you can either be a good guy, a bad guy, a sort of neutral, um, be a trader, be a thief, be uh, a warrior, go around just slaughter everyone, you can do that. You can just make a city and sim city if you want. You can be Farmville if you want. Um, like, uh, I probably offending some people by saying that but you know you could just farm the whole time put a wall up close the gates and just defend it off all the time you know um, there I think he wanted to add cannibals in and I, they possibly are in the game now there's a few updates so check out his website I'll put a link in the bottom it's called lofi games um, dot com 
and um, it just has all his updates, his game plan, his vis vision of the of the game, and what it ends up to be, how long he's roughly got till he finishes, what he wants to do, um, all this cool stuff. It's about twenty dollars the game, and it just keeps going up. It's I bought it for twelve bucks or ten bucks when he when he first had it, um, and it's just it's just getting better and better. So he's able to do it, and it's more and more popular. So see what you guys think. Uh, let me know if you want any more videos. If you don't, let me know, and I will. Oh, cool. There's a war broken out. And let me know.